Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's an honor for UNICEF to be making this uh, brief statement today. And uh, we congratulate all the member states who have ratified the Marrakesh Treaty, as well as to our colleagues in WIPO who have worked tirelessly to, uh, in this area. Mr. Chairman, there are 150 million children with disabilities in the world. That's the estimate. And a majority of these children do not go to school. In a few instances where children with disabilities are in school, they do not get the opportunity to participate in education in the school on an equal basis with their peers. Among the many barriers that exist, the lack of accessible textbook and learning materials is key. We feel that the Marrakesh Treaty has the potential to create an environment where books and learning materials are available to children with disabilities in accessible formats. At the same time, they are available for all children. While blind and visually impaired children will benefit directly from the Marrakesh Treaty, the environment of accessibility that will create will also have significant positive effects for all children with disabilities, children who are deaf, children who have intellectual disabilities, in, for whom conventional printed books are also not accessible. So we feel that it has a potential to create positive opportunities for all children with disabilities, including children who are blind and visually impaired, to participate in education, which we all know is key to having a good future. As a blind person myself, I'm immensely, it's a matter of immense joy to see the Marrakesh Treaty come into force. At UNICEF, we are working seriously to ensure that books are available to children with disabilities in accessible formats. We remain committed and look forward to working with all of you to ensure that no children with disability is denied the right to education to participate in school because of the lack of accessible books and learning materials. Thank you so much.